Thanks. Thanks so much. I, uh, I'm from New Jersey. I, uh, exit 9. I grew up there as a latchkey kid. Do you guys know what that is? It's like a legal term for neglect. When I was growing up, I didn't have a lot of friends. And when you don't have a lot of friends growing up, the seesaw is just a really low bench. My dad, he was on drugs. That was kind of weird. That was, that was strange. Because, well, first of all, he didn't share. And then also, he didn't really understand things, you know? Like, he saw this ad on television, and it said, talk to your kids about drugs. So he sat me and my brother down, and he goes, keep it in the trunk. Keep it in the trunk. They need a search warrant for the trunk. <laughs> That's not right. Uh, by the way, my last name, it really is Eagle, just for those of you who are wondering, because I always get asked that. People are like, Eagle, that's such an unusual name. What's your background? And then I have to explain to them that I'm part Russian and part, oh, oh! <laughs> Actually, I'm Jewish. Uh, do you guys have Jews here in Irvine? Are there any here tonight? Hold up your coupons. Uh, so I'm... I'm Jewish, I'm Jewish, and last year for Hanukkah, my dad got me dating for dummies. Yeah. So this year I got him gift buying for ass. <laughs> he, I don't know, he's just, when he wasn't on the drugs, he was so angry. I guess because, you know, he had it really tough growing up, you know, because he used to have to walk, you know, 20 miles to school and five feet of snow, and he was only four feet tall. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I just saw my family recently. I just saw them. It was great. I, you know, my, my, we all got together last week. My favorite uncle was there. You know, the one that touched me in all the right places. Well, because the other one just fumbled around. He couldn't find my zipper or anything. Just completely ruined the moment. So, uh, what else? I've, <laughs> I've been uh, working as a secretary. I'm not a very good secretary. For example, I don't have enough Beanie Babies to cover the entire length of my desk. That's right. Also, I steal things. And the meaner the employer is to me, the more things I'm taking. I had this one boss come up to me. She was like, you know what? I need that document done now. I was like, all right, I'll do it now. No problem. I'm going home with your printer. That's right, yeah. I learned how to get out of doing any task, which is you just act stupid. Because I can't get mad at you for being stupid, right? <laughs> like, oh, oh, you need 10 copies of this? All right, no problem. You want that in pen or in pencil? <laughs> this doesn't work out. So uh, I recently went to the eye doctor. That's right, folks, these things are for real. They're not just my man magnet. So. <laughs> And it was a very weird eye doctor's appointment. Well, first of all, they asked me to put on a gown. That's not right. And then the eye doctor looked at me, and he was like, you know what? I think your glasses are kind of crooked. And I was like, actually, I just tweezed my eyebrows. <laughs> right, ladies? Because sometimes we have to clear the land up there, right? Let me hear a shout out for my Jewish and Italian friends. And sometimes we have to clear the land down there, right? I, if you're gonna clear the land down there, I recommend the mean Russian lady. That's who you want to handle that. I had something called a Brazilian done. I'm not gonna say exactly what it is, but I will just tell you, I know why there are no more rainforests left. <laughs> it is a very intimate procedure, right, sir? <laughs> And like, I didn't know, I didn't know, was I, if I was supposed to tip her or buy her flowers. <laughs> so I just licked her. Um, well, she was quite sticky. So thank you for the, for, thank you for that. Um, what else? I was, uh. I, uh, I, my family, they've been extremely supportive since I've been out here, extremely supportive. In fact, I got a card of encouragement from my aunt. Yes, yeah, a very lovely card of encouragement. And turns out she purchased a second card that she thought would be nice coming from my mom. Only my mom, who's a little bit absent-minded, she forgot what she was supposed to do with it. So she stuck, just stuck the card in a package with the bag and the receipt and everything. So now, 
Now I have this card, and it says, so many people believe in you, signed by no one. <laughs> so many people believe in you, no one was willing to put it in writing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, thank you. I'm gonna just say this uh, one last thing, which is, uh, I saw Nicole Kidman, she won an Oscar award, and uh, she thanked the producers for taking a chance on her, you know, because she's so on the fringe. And, um, and then she gave a very warm and loving speech to her, to her family, to her mother and her daughter, and it really touched my heart. It, you know, it made me think about what it is I would say to my family if I ever received such an honor. I think I would just be like, and to my family, I'd like to say, is this enough? Is this enough? Are you happy now? Are you happy? Maybe we could let law school go. All right, thank you very much. My name is Dana Eagle.